Hello there! Today we are going to show you how to create text highlight effect with drawing animation and camera movement animation, all done in VSDC. This technique is especially useful for video categories such as tutorials and promotional videos, where grabbing your viewer's attention is key. Are you ready? Let's get started! First of all, we need to find a picture with text. The resolution of this image needs to be high as it will be significantly enlarged. Start a new project. As an example, we create a project in 4K resolution. Full HD resolution is also alright, you can try it too. Add a picture with a newspaper in it to the scene. Select it on the timeline and apply auto cropping to remove black bars on the edges. Do not forget to choose cubic interpolation in properties window. Now, let's create a text highlighter effect. Select the curve line and draw a trajectory. If you need to smooth the line, press Ctrl, add a point on the line and pull it to the side. Select yellow color. Adjust the line trajectory and line thickness as you need. To position the yellow color behind the text letters, change the Blend Composition mode to Multiply. Create animation. Click on the three dots to the right of the visible length in Curve Line settings. Go to the Key Editor and at about the second second Add a key point. For this one and the last point, set value to 100. For the first point, to 0. By the way, free version users need to create two curve lines on the timeline. The first is for animation, the second for highlighters staying on the screen. For the first line, set visible length from 0 to 100. And for the second, 100. Pro version users do not need to do it. Continue working with the key editor and click on the Bezier mode there to create a smooth acceleration at the beginning and a smooth deceleration at the end by changing point vectors. Check the result and adjust the curves in the way you need. Let's highlight another text line. Copy the created curve line and add it to the scene. For convenience, hide the previous curve line and click on Show Rect to hide the frame around, so it will be easier to edit points on the new curve line. Adjust points. Change thickness to 20 pixels and the color to green in the curve line settings. Move the start of the copy layer to the end of the animation at the previous curve on the timeline, so that when the first line is highlighted, the second line begins to be highlighted right after that. Create another copy of the green line and select one more word on the next line. Extra points can be deleted. Repeat the previous step to create animation. Adjust the speed. Super! Now we're done with highlight text effect. Move on to creating the camera effect. Select all objects on the scene and convert to a sprite within the scene resolution. Go to Sprite Object Settings and set in Uses Container No and in Show Effects Yes. Camera effect will be created by Perspective Transform. Let's add it to the picture on the timeline. 
In Perspective Settings, choose Bind to Service Points for Mode, then click on Add Tracking Points. Place the appearing black points in the corners of the scene beyond the edges. The plane for displaying the newspaper will be defined by these points. Place them in the way you need. The last step is to add camera movement animation. For that, click on Perspective on the timeline, choose one of the tracking points, double-click on it on the timeline and add movement. Repeat these steps for each point. As a result, the camera will move downwards. Good job! Pro users can also try to smooth out the camera movement and make it not so linear. To do this, double-click on Perspective on the timeline, double-click on one of the tracking points and click in Layers on Movement. Find in Settings Time Remapping and click on the three dots there. In the key editor, set the Bezier line like that. Copy the parameters of the key points for the remaining three tracking points using the copy-paste buttons in the top left corner of the key editor. And that's it for today. We hope you found this tutorial interesting and discovered new features of our video editor. Do not forget to subscribe for more tips. Keep creating with us and see you in the next video.